What's up guys, I'm Pede Beats and after this video, you're going to make the hardest beats for future like Metro Boomin. They recently dropped an album and today we're going to make something inspired by GTA. So let's get into it. As you can hear in GTA, we have a really hard melody and it sounds like it is a sample. So to do something like that, first of all, we need to find the right sound. For this time, I think I'm going to use these ambience from Analog Lab. They're perfect for the vibe that we are going for. So we can use the G-sharp minor scale. And here we need to find that repetitive melody, but with some bounce, if you know what I mean. So I'm just going to use triplets. And here maybe we can create some variation. That's crazy, man. Okay. Okay, I like this melody and later I want to resample this, but right now I want to add some effects on it because in this way, when we're going to resample it, it's going to sound crazier. So now we can add an EQ, remove some of the high end. We can add a chorus on this. And then I really like to use uh, this uh, crystallizer. Let's make a preset. We can lower the mix. Yeah, that's a nice texture. Okay, now we can render this. And uh, to create that resampled sound, I think I'm going to use a fruity slicer. Here we can select beat. We can mess with uh, some settings here. We can stretch it, for example. Yo, that's crazy. Okay, now it's time to add some bass notes on this. You can use the felt keys or the piano that you want. I'm going to use this one from my Nova One Shot Kit. We can do something like this with the envelope and it's in F, so we need to right click here. And now we're working in A minor. Okay, this is adding a lot of character to the sample and I like it. So the next thing that I want to add is a pad. So I'm going to use again my Nova One Shot Kit and I want to use some strings. Let's use these ones. For strings, I recommend expand or this uh, BBC Symphony Orchestra. Let's lay down a minor chord. But let's remove the middle node. Ooh, pitch it down sounds crazy. Yeah, I want them just like a texture. In this case, to build this melody, I just used uh, this uh, one semitone change that is adding a lot of tension, and that's really good in this type of beats. Now I want to add some bass because we need some high end on this melody. Yeah, I love to use this one, man. And again, here I'm playing with this uh, one semitone change. Yeah, that's fine. We don't really need to add any effects on this bell. We can add an EQ to remove some of the high end. Yeah. Now we need to add a violin on this because in this type of beats, violins are always going to sound good and Metro Boomin use them a lot. So let's find a phrase here that I like. Yeah, that's crazy. I want to add half time on this. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Let's add some reverb too on this violin. And I pend it on the left. So it has its own space and that's really important. Okay, I really like this melody and the beat here is almost done. But I want to add another melody that we can use in the intro or something like that. So I want to add a vocal. Here in contact, I have a free bank called Arcane. Let's try this voice. Yeah. That's crazy, man. We need to have some reverb on it, though. And pan it on the right. Okay, now we can arrange this a little bit. So we can have a pretty busy intro. 
Then here are going to come the drums and it's going to sound crazy. Then we can bring back the bell and the violin. Here in the verse, I think I want to render this and pitch it down one octave. Sounds crazy, man. Then we can bring back the bell. Okay, now we need to add some drums on this. Of course, I'm going to use the drums from my Cosmic Drum Kit. It's part of the Nebula Multi Kit and it's a huge bundle. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the description. But now let's add these drums. In general, Metro Boomin uses a snare instead of a clap. Something like this can work. Hard. And here at the end, we can create some variation. Can make a mini roll here. Ooh. Let's try to pitch this down. Let's add this at. A trick that I suggest you to use for hi hats is just to select uh, fill each uh, four steps, but we can duplicate them and lower the velocity, so it's going to add so much more bounce on this. And Metro Boomin loves to use these uh, one fourth step rolls. Crazy. Can just copy this over and create some variation. Now we can click Alt R to randomize the pan and the velocity. Here at the end we can use an even faster roll. Yeah, I like that. Now we need to add a hat on this. Here before the clap is the perfect spot for the hat. Yeah. Adding so much more bounce. Then we can add some perks. Let's add a triangle. Can create some bounce by delaying the second one. Let's add this box too. Can make a panda effect. Yeah. In this type of beats, I suggest you to add the kick before the 808 because in this way you are going to create a more bouncy pattern. Let's add this kick. Yeah. Now it's time to add the 808. For this type of beats, I really like to use uh, this future one. That is more like a sub 808. So we can just copy the kick pattern and paste it here. And we're working in A, so let's see how it sounds. And, uh, and of course we can create some variation. For example, here we could go down. Maybe the pitch of the sample is too high, and I want to turn it down 3 semitones, so it's going to be in F sharp. If you enjoyed this video, if you liked it, remember to drop a sub, like and comment, and check out this video on how to make beats for Bossman Glow.